Yes, everybody, welcome, 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 once again, once again, yes, yours truly, a.k.a. Dave Nation, what up, what's up, everybody, what's up, this is a podcast show, yours truly, that's right, Dave Nation of all Dave Nations around the world, I love it, I love it, thank you for joining my podcast show, it's going to be a one wild ride, yes, one wild ride right here, everybody, yes, I'm so enthusiastic, you wouldn't believe, folks, we are listening to, I don't know what you guys are listening to in the background, but what you hear in the background is Capitol Hill. Give, give a big hand, big hand to Capitol Hill. Yay, everybody, every kid out there say yay. All right, they're listening to Capitol with the Democrats. Yes, that's right, give a big yay. Yay, that's right. Anyway, a little clap to them. Anyway, back to our record schedule program. We are doing a podcast show. Hope you enjoyed this podcast show. Before I start, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's doing a podcast show for every single reason. Every single reason. This is just not me ranting. It's just me doing a podcast show. I'm just going to blare it out for all you people. We're talking about two people this week in the news. This week in the news. Uh, big, big flipping. Well, they're not really big news. They're just a uh, little bitty, bitty news. But in a little big pond. Anyway, uh, the two people I want to speak of are Michael Jackson, that's right, and John Con and John Candy, the late John Candy. Uh, you can't forget John Candy. 25 years since passing. No word of a lie. Can you believe it? Even I was stunned. 25 years of John Candy, the late comedian John Candy. Uh, a, a, a rest in peace, John Candy, uh, heavens above. And Michael Jackson, uh, once again, they were digging up, you were digging up, digging up some uh, news stories, related stories. Digging it up, dig it up, you know. See what we find, see what we find a pile of pages. Yeah, and by the way, by the way, just two big news. I want to first start off with, um, with John Kenny. Now, I don't know if you people have been to Canada lately in your travels around the around our great world of ours. John Candy, who made many movies, and I'm not going to mention all of them, um, started a TV show called SCTV. Now, I don't know if you guys know about that show, but it was an economy, it was a kind of a, it was kind of a funny TV show that you had to watch. You really had to watch, too. So they, you just, they just show greatness. It was the early days of TV, television, as they call it. Um... Uh, when you had these famous actors, you had John Candy, you had Lou G. Levy, you had all these famous actors. You had uh, Rick Moranis. Who's the guy? Who's Rick Moranis? I'll tell you in a sec. Um, and you had this, you have a few people there. I mean, few people, these were celebrities starting up very small, worked their way up to, uh, to do films. They all branched out after they left SCTV. Uh, they did separate movies. They, uh, John Kenny did lots of movies. I don't want to talk about but it's been 25 years since it's passed. I was floored when I heard that. I couldn't believe it's actually 25 years since John Kenny. I only saw him once. I didn't go up to him and shake his hand, but I saw him at a football game. Um, big John Kenny. You will recognize him in films. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're saying yield right now. Can you believe this, folks? You're hearing this. They're saying yield right now at Capitol Hill. Anyway, anyway, nonetheless, nonetheless, John Kenny and Michael Jackson. Yes, Michael Jackson. I'm going to throw him under the rug. Uh, anyway, this is just, uh, this is a non-related uh, um, topic. I just think Michael Jackson is great the way he did those songs. I mean, uh, it was just a list of, list of songs he's done uh, to many rock stars he's been around with. But he passed away, and guess what? 2010. Yes, uh, we don't know why he passed away. He just did. And his brother Jermaine, as a lot of people would know, uh, went on on TV station. A good morning, a good morning, uh, good morning, America, as they would say. Um, he pleaded to a lot of people, saying, "Let Michael Jackson rest, rest in peace." You know, don't talk about Michael Jackson. Don't talk about Michael Jackson. Uh, all these accusations that people like to say. Just take it. Just bring it out of the rug, and let's talk about him. All those things that you don't want to hear about. And the films that they made never land. And where he lived and, and all his kids and stuff. Just leave Michael Jackson, just like Jermaine said. Just leave Michael Jackson. Leave the rest. Okay, we don't need any... He's dead. People, don't talk about Michael Jackson. He's dead. He's gone. Gone. Buried. Jermaine, his brother, talked about in length. Leave the guy... Leave Michael Jackson alone. 
He's done. 2010, he's dead. Unless he's faked his death. Unless he's faked his funeral, which I'm pretty sure he did. He's probably faked the funeral. Everybody went to the funeral, and, and you thought Michael Jackson was there, but no. He went into hiding. Yes, he went into hiding. A guy who risked it all, he just went into hiding. He just went into hiding. People said, oh, Michael Chang, go into hiding. Go in, you know, go in, go somewhere for a few years from now and don't let everybody know that. He went into hiding. And that's what I want to talk about. Michael Jackson and so-called John Candy. The late John Candy. Rest in peace 25 years ago. Um... And a uh, little bit, a little bit of uh, drama here in Capitol Hill. I want to bring that out uh, for all you people. Lately, they've been talking about everything, everything to do with politics these days. It's been cesspool of topics. They run by cesspool of topics. Uh, the uh, one girl, uh, one lady, I want to talk about in the Capitol Hill. I forget her name, but she talks about this new Green Deal or whatever that Green Deal was. Uh, She's that. Uh, she's she's very psychic woman. She's very very. Uh, I call not a psychic woman, but an insane woman. Let's put it that. She's that Gomez lady, whatever her name is. I keep forgetting her name. Anyway, she's an insane woman. I, I'm not kid you not. I kid you not. She's a very insane woman. <laughs> if you go look on YouTube videos, she's a very insane woman. Uh, I mean, what what is she kidding herself? What is she kidding herself? Is what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm trying not to tease these people because I, I know their agenda. They're trying to draw agenda here. And they, they, they got this agenda that they have in mind that they want to talk about at the Capitol Hill. And they got this whole idea that they're going to you know win some votes, win some, uh, and get you to vote for them kind of thing. And you're not running for Congress at all. No, you're not. And by the way, by the way, just for the record, just for the record, Nancy Pelosi, I just want to say this for the record and go to the YouTube video. I just want to say, Nancy Pelosi, you you got kudos to me because uh, you're not insane just like that other lady, whatever her name is, <laughs> kind of lady. Um, uh, but uh, just remember, uh, Nancy Pelosi, you're a cool lady. You're a nice, cool lady. I like you. are not insane like everybody else in the world. And Nancy Pelosi, you're the Speaker of the House. I think you're an awesome lady. Sometimes... I don't like you very often, but I get used to you after a while. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, I just want this is just a podcast, so we're just throwing out topics here. Just to think about topics as we go along. Um, one other thing. Oh, by the way, don't forget, people, we are doing a pay view this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday is a pay view. Are you ready? Fast lane. Yes. <laughs> Did I say more? Did I say more? Fast lane. This is so exciting. All you wrestling stars out there. Uh, last night, I was so tired last night. So, sorry about that, folks. I was too tired to watch it. it it's sometimes, sometimes, not every wrestling show I'm not going to watch. But last night, I was too too tired, too stupid to see it. Um, but yeah, last night was very sad. Very, very, very sad. And by the way, this is politics. These are what people do to Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. That's very, very sad, in case you're wondering, people. But they're, they're just, they're just like the Democrats to the, uh, what's the other ones? The Democrats and the, uh, I forget the other guy, people. Anyway, never mind about that. I just throw out some names here, folks. I just throw down some names like everybody would do on a podcast. Um, uh, I just get a vision. I see what they look like on TV, and I, I figure out what their names are. And by the way, by the way, in case you're wondering, folks, this is just a podcast, an ordinary podcast. This is uh, like an um, unrated podcast. And I'm just not ranting and rating like Alex Jones does. People like to uh, say about Alex Jones, but he's all right. He's all right. Alex Jones is okay. He's the guy from Infowars. He's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's okay. Uh, I know that people don't agree with everything he says. People think he's sane. <laughs> Alex Jones is insane. He's not insane. He may, he may, uh, he may push his products, but he's not insane. But I, I, the guy I really like, the guy I really like on Infowars is Owen Sawyer. If I, uh, if I correct his name, uh, Owen Sawyer, he's he's the guy from the War Room. Now he's pretty good. He's darn well pretty good. Um, and he comes with facts. He comes with uh, he comes with facts. No question about it. He comes with facts, and uh, he tells the. Uh, People in Washington D.C. that they're all insane, <laughs> and he gets fed up with them. I'm not kidding. Kid you not. 
Yeah. It's like he's blowing a gasket. Fight for us. Uh, and so we have measures in here to clean up the campaign finance. And it's like the swamp. As, uh, the guy said today, it's like the swamp. Uh, they talk about these sort of words thrown around, the swamp. They call it the swamp. Well, the swamp is not always good when you have too many people in the swamp. Uh, they're just pulling you down. The swamp, what they mean in a, as a swamp, they're pulling you down. Uh, and that's what the swamp really means to the Democrats. Uh, yeah, uh, the swamp means you have too much people in the uh, party, too much people in the party, and too much people in your. Uh, yeah, you have. It's like we got we got to pull these people in and pull these people out, and uh, it's just too many people in the swamp. We want to kick them out of the box, out of the out of the playground, or as they call it, not in the swamp, I call it the playground. If you're ever in the playground, just an ordinary playground, and you kick these people out of the playground, that's sort of like the swamp. Yeah, it's like, it's like there's too many people in the swamp. <laughs> I'm getting angry too, I'm sorry. Uh, it's like the swamp, it's like the playground kind of analogy. Uh, you kick these people out of the playground, you kick kicking people out of the swamp. And it's like the frog. Yeah, it's not. It's not to do with the frog. Uh, the, <laughs> sorry, I laugh about this. Yes, uh, Alex Jones like to think about the frog, the frog guy. Yeah, it's not playing fair. This is uh, this is Mike Pent, by the way. In case you're, wondering. I'm just dropping some names here, folks. Yeah. HR one. That's right. They're talking about HR one with the voter rights. And by the way, folks, this is not my words. It's their words. Um, uh, now everybody has voter rights. Uh, you should. Uh, it doesn't mean uh, uh, they have voter rights. Just go out and vote. Just all I'm going to say for the people who want to go vote: just vote. Just vote. Who cares what these politicians say? Go and vote. You have no reason not to. They all say they all say this legal thing. They always say the legal things. They always say the legal things. Bes uh, besides the voting, they say we're going to vote, and here comes the legal stuff. I uh, yield. They saw yield. Remember the word they see, you tend to use? Yield. Okay. Uh, by the way, by the way, folks, um, this is my podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, these are just um, my my thoughts of this world today. Oh, in case you're wondering, people, we are going to be doing more podcasting than ever before. Ever before. Um, coming up March. This is March. We're having, almost coming up to March break. March break. Middle of March break. And I just want to say, quote to you people, this is just, I, I'm surprised we're having wintry weather. It's minus 20. Bear that in mind. It's minus 20. It's not the wind chill you have to worry about. It's the wind. And by the way, folks, yeah, right to free speech. Oh, I almost forgot about that, folks. Yes, they want to talk about free speech. Everybody has the right to free speech. It doesn't matter who, what age you're at. 70, you could be 70. Uh, you could be 18, 20, 30, 40, 50, age, doesn't matter. Free speech we have it on this planet. And they're, gonna, they're not going to take your rights. They're not going to take your constitution. They're not going to take anything away. They're going to let you, uh, they're going to let you talk. They're going to let you talk. There was no limit there. No limits. No limits. They're not going to gag you. They're not going to muscle you. They're not going to do any of those things. They're going to let you do free speech. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, talk on. Talk on, as I would say. Talk on. If you want to talk, go ahead, because I, I, I'm a staunch employer, as I would say, staunch employer uh, for free speech. Talk, go talk away. Go talk away. Go. There's no limits. Let's go. Talk away. Uh, yeah, you heard that right. That's right. Free speech for everybody. Yeah. And by the way, by the way, folks... We want to take a look, a look about, oh, by the way, by the way, one more topic I want to talk about is much music. Uh, the, the name is phenomenal with, the, with Canadian TV. That's Canadian TV. Much music was a Canadian pioneer at its best, at its heyday days. Uh, 1984, there was, became a uh, TV station that they want to do was called much music. The, 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 the launch of much music was... The uh, was the opposite of MTV. If you could think of what Evan TV did, here's the bunch of music. It was the Canadian version of, M well, it was the American version of Can uh, MTV, but in ours here in Canada, it was much music. It was a constitution. They called it the constitution. 
and Much Music was the constitution of this big, huge TV station called Much Music. Now, in the word says Much Music, it says music. So the word means music. So the mu what any kind of music there is. And these were much. These were music videos. These were uh, these were music videos that they put out there to the world. And uh, videos. These were just videos related. They're just videos. And uh, it went high definition. They were they weren't high definition. They were kind of like standard definition of uh, videos. And uh, yes, yeah, so much. They had a book out called. Uh, this is live. This is live. It's a book called "This Is Live." Much music. The early days of much music. All the people who were, who were there, the who's who, the rock stars who were, came through that building. To the Bonnells, to U2, to you name it. Uh, uh, David Bowie. Remember the guy, singer Bo David Bowie. David Bowie. Yes, right. Um, to you name it across the uh, across the music world. Um, and let to be clear, let me be clear that the book is awesome. The book is very awesome. And go get it in your bookstore. I'm not uh, publicizing very much, but go get a bookstore. It's called This Is Live. This is actually live right now. And this is just, just the, 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 uh, and uh, my friend, my dearest friend of 31 years has passed away. Now, I've said it past videos and stuff. But I'm not joking. My friend passed away last year of 31 years, and he was... Truly, truly, I'm not joking, everybody. A great friend to have for 31 years. It's just, uh, we have, and it's good to have friends out there. You know, I say to anybody, even Washington, D.C., the capital, great to have the friends. And he, he, they're saying the speaker right now. Okay, so that's good. Uh, one else, one else about this podcast I want to relate to all you people that, um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, give, me, give, me, uh, give, me, give me some topics to run by. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, one else, one else thing I gotta talk about is the movies. The movies today are are one, one, uh, one in a million, one in a million ways of watching movies. And uh, and uh, what, 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 what else? What else? Oh, by the way, this is this is my podcast. This is not anybody else's podcast. This is my podcast. And it's just. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, this will go up to YouTube, and I want a lot of subscribers and viewers. Um, and um, what else? What else? Oh, in case you're wondering, there's a lot of people on social media. Yes, they have social media people going on, talk about topics of any sort of topics. Uh, they talk about anything to do with Washington, D.C., everything to do with here in Canada, to the politicians in uh, Capitol Hill, to the here in Ottawa. Uh, and it's Justin Trudeau or uh, Donald Trump administration. Yes, or CNN to here in Canada. To CP24. Uh, that's breaking news. Uh, it's going to be breaking news, whatever it is, or it's the developing story. Uh, one or the other, it's a breaking news or developing story. Just, to, just about to happen. And it's just in. Oh, yes, they even have just in stories. And guess what? Guess what? I'm the guy who's doing a podcast right here, folks. This is a podcast of any, any, any combination. You'll see, and by the way, by the way, go and vote. Don't let these politicians run your life. Just go and vote. Don't care what the uh, legal beagle would say. Yeah, go and vote. And by the way, by the way, if you like your Justin Trudeau's, if you like your uh, Donald Trumps of the world, go ahead and vote. I, I dare you. I, I challenge you to do that. God damn it! Just go and vote Donald Trump and. And Justin Trudeau, please do that for me, please. Anyway, this will go up to YouTube, not word of lie. Yeah, you can guys laugh about this if you want. And by the way, by the way, and by the way, this will be a wonderful day. Oh, by the way, everybody will say the Lord and Savior. People need to say that, Lord and Savior. God gave me a, 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 a message to tell you all out there, Lord and Savior. That's the word we should use on this planet. Not Jesus or God, the Lord. That I keep, I keep hammering that message. Yeah, because if you're ever, you're not going to be in hell. You're going to be in heaven. The word you need to learn is heaven. The heaven is called the pearly gates, the white light, and uh, the Lord will come and extend His hand. And that's what He'll do in the world of heaven, the heavenly, the heavenly world. 
And, um, oh, by the way, by the way, speaking of heaven, uh, this is not word of life, this is the Bible speaking. <laughs> and this is not Lucifer, this is not Lucifer or any of those crazy ideas. Oh, by the way, I need a psychic read. I need a psychic read. If anybody knows how to do psychic reads, let me know. Uh, listen to me clearly. This is psychic read right now. By the way, we're going to telepathically do a, a psychic read. Uh, yeah, another, another, another tetrasophy. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get this word out. Yes. Yes. And by the way, by the way, this is not an ordinary podcast. I'm just throwing out topics here, right and left. And this is not a rat. This is not a flavorless rat. I just want to tell my, my my people out there, just go and vote. Promise me. Don't worry about these politicians. They're just steering you the wrong way. Okay, they're just, they're, they usually say about the legal stuff. They're just trying to scare you to, with the legal stuff. Essentially, they're just doing that, folks. Um... Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, in case you're wondering, folks, I'm just going to rat and rave, rat and rave, just keep going, keep going. Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, this is this is my podcast, and I hope you, li hope you like it, hope you love it. And um, I, I want viewers, I want subscribers on YouTube, and that's, run, that's the whole enchilada of that. I want a billion subscribers, I want a billion uh, viewers. I'm not choking, folks, on YouTube, straight out of YouTube. Yes, yes, and by the way, by the way, uh, my my chance, my chance in life, in my golden years, in my life of life, I want to be on Alex Jones show. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not putting. A, I want to be a guest of Alex Jones show on the Infowars.com. That's right. I'm here to promote that. And by the way, by the way, I just want to say to the Democrats, they can go all go to hell. That's my that's my two cents worth. I could go on weeks. Uh, yeah, and by the way, by the way, I'm finished my podcast. Hope you enjoyed this podcast, everybody. Uh, I want to get views out of this. I want to get subscribers. I'm just saying a one full swoop in a nice way, in a nice bowl and package. Um, uh, just, get me, just give me subscribers. Give me uh, vote, uh, views. I want to get views out of this. And uh, yes, and by the way, the gun laws in the United States, we want to have a gun-free zone uh, of those Americans. Yes. I want to start by saying uh, no guns at all in the United States. No guns at all. I don't know if we can get rid of them. We're going to have no gun-free zone. And uh, Congress, yes, I almost forgot that word. Congress, thank you, guy. Uh, Congress, closed doors, yes. Oh, by the way, Michael Cole, I almost forgot about that dude, that Michael Cole dude. Uh, who's uh, uh, I think he's a uh, attorney. Is he an attorney guy? I can't remember his uh, what his uh, position on this whole thing. I think he's finished doing attorney with Donald Trump, so we can say anything we need to say. We're not going to be muffled, by the way. We're not going to be muffled, people. Um, uh, oh, by the way, Roger Stone, he is muffled. He's muffled. The judge told him to be muffled. And not say anything out there because it ruins his reputation. <laughs> it ruins his credibility. <laughs> I just say what he says. It ruins everything about his. And he'll not. He won't be. Mu he won't be muscled. Trust me. He won't be muscled. And trust me. We won't muscle the uh, Roger Stone. Roger Stone is the man. Trust me. He's the guy. He's awesome. Roger Stone. You have my. You have my. Uh, you don't have my word. You won't be muscled by me. Okay, when the judge says you need to be muzzled, don't let your don't let the judge muzzle you, because uh, we need you. We need you around, Roger Stone. You're, I kind of like you right now. I really do. I miss you a lot, Roger Stone, uh, from Infowars. I really do. Um, so let, uh, ask the judge if he can uh, if he can lower the muscle band. And uh, I just want to say for the record, we are finished for the podcast. Hope you enjoyed this podcast. Ciao for now, everybody. See you guys on the next pass. Podcast. Bye for now. Peace, y'all. Everybody, thank you very much. Everybody.